It remains on Belize's law books as the maximum possible punishment that may be imposed when someone is convicted of murder, but it has not been applied since June 19, 1985, when Kent Bowers was executed. That was 40 years ago, and the last time it was handed down as a sentence was over 20 years ago. Seasoned attorneys, Godfrey Smith and Parvez Jabbar, want the death penalty removed from Belizean law books because they staunchly believe that no one who has committed a murder is deemed irredeemable. Jabbar points to the Jared Rangai case summed up only two weeks ago with three life sentences for three family members. What the decision on sentencing in Rangai does, it follows a very long line of jurisprudence, which has established, as you say, that death penalty is reserved for the worst of the worst or somebody who is beyond reformation. It doesn't say that person shouldn't be punished. It doesn't say that they're, they're not saying, for example, in this case, we are not applying the death penalty because we don't want to. It's a it's a personal opinion. It's a political opinion. They're saying the death penalty is not appropriate. People seem mistakenly, in our view, to think that it could be to be any kind of deterrent, it would have to be imposed on a, a large scale of offenders in a very swift fashion, which it can't be because it's reserved for the worst of the worst and the rarest of the rare. And as you know, in 40 years, it hasn't. Smith and Jabbar share the view that policymakers ought to be focusing more on improving the justice system and the factors that drive crime and murders. Those who think about policy and think about policy to drive change, what should be thought about is not so much, is, is not the death penalty at all, but how we can effectively improve policing the criminal justice system, and the socioeconomic conditions that are conducive to and lead to, to criminality. Jabbar also points to the inefficacy of the death penalty on the law books as it relates to controlling the conviction rate. He and Smith also point out that there are irreversible errors that are made when state-sanctioned executions occur. And where Belize is at on the global map on this topic, Jabbar says that two-thirds of countries around the world have abolished the death penalty from their laws. Belize remains among the minority that still have it enshrined as law. There are 126 countries that have totally have abolished the death penalty um, for all crimes or ordinary crimes. There are another 40 countries which are considered ADF. So Belize comes in that category. And then you're looking at 35, 36 countries left that actually execute. So if you look at the global picture, and if you compare it to, say, 50 years ago, it was the other way around. It was 75 with the death penalty, 25 without. Smith believes that the conversation in Belize should begin now on removing the piece of law that is never applied anymore in Belize's courtrooms. Each time there appears to be a rise in crime or is a rise in crime. Some people reach for a return to executions. And we, we think that this session that we're having right now with media hosts is an important start to the conversation and should lead to deeper conversations and deeper reflections, especially by those in government to consider which direction it wishes to go. Reporting for News 5, I'm Marion Ali.